Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla with breaking news, because just like that, unsupervised full self-driving is hitting the streets. OK, OK, it's not public street yet. <laughs> it is on a private lot, but Tesla's cars are now driving themselves from the assembly line to the parking lot with no human intervention. This is huge, not just for full self-driving, but cost saving and so many other things. So let's check it all out. Let's dive right in. So let me show you this little video that Tesla has just released. Yes, Tesla's cars are now driving themselves from their assembly line to the parking lot all by themselves. This is so cool. And as Jeremy, head of Tesla's AI labeling program team, wrote on X, there are some days when the job is insanely cool, and then there are even cooler days when everyone gets to find out about it. Today has been a pretty fucking cool day. And that was him talking about this post from Tesla AI. Tesla now drive themselves from their birthplace at the factory to the designated loading dock lane without human intervention. One step closer to large-scale, unsupervised, full self-driving. Elon also reported on Tesla's AI post and wrote, unsupervised, full self-driving begins. Oh yes, and Tesla also wrote, all Teslas are born with full self-driving capable of self-driving directly from the factory. Yep. And now they're doing so. Just amazing. And they're starting with the 1.2 mile route at the Fremont factory. But every factory is, of course, going to get this because they don't have to get regulatory approval for this. This is on private ground. So this is going to spread fast to other factories. But this is just so cool and a very important step to get to unsupervised full self driving for Tesla on public roads. And one of the more important reposts about this was, of course, from as Hock that road just a matter of time before it rolls out on public roads. Yep, this is truly the first step towards that. But this is so much more than just about the unsupervised full self driving. This is going to give Tesla a lot of cost saving as well, just as Jeff Lutz pointed out on X. Manufacturing people know that value add risk at this stage of the process is at its highest. Very bullish on unsupervised. Yes, just think about all the employees that Tesla is using to just drive the car from one place to another. That takes a lot of time and it cost a lot of money and now they don't have to. Every other legacy automakers of course still have to, but this is just another cost advantage for Tesla. As Holmas catalog also wrote on X, it may seem like a small thing, but that's something a paid human used to do. And he also wrote from what I understand, Tesla employed 30 to 50 people exclusively for that purpose. So that's about 30 to 50 people that get paid like forty to fifty thousand dollars each. So doing a year, Tesla might save something like two point five million dollars if it is fifty people at fifty thousand dollars that Tesla just saved. And Steve T, also a Tesla employee, also wrote, having worked at the Texas factory for three years, I don't think people realize how large of a cost saving this feature is. Each shift per vehicle had at least a dozen or two drivers, millions of dollars per year with someone's only purpose driving vehicle to lots. Huge. But this comes out just as the Cybertruck tunnel at the Texas factory is done and having Cybertrucks driving through it directly from within the factory, underneath the highway and over to the parking lot. And that futuristic scene where these cars are driving by themselves, well, that is coming very, very soon, maybe in two weeks. But Omar, another Tesla employee, also wrote on X, for our manufacturing lines, we obsessed over every second. Reduced waste and non-value add time everywhere is critical. With our new tunnel that goes directly from the end of the manufacturing line to the outbound lot, we are reducing travel by a thousand meters and over 60 seconds. Yes, every little thing 
counts. And Tesla is adding a lot of small things and some huge things at the moment. So, yeah. But according to someone like Gary Black, it's only a matter of time, a week or two, maybe months, maybe half a year. Everybody else is just going to copy this. All OEMs is, of course, going to copy this because they can just copy Tesla's full self-driving system, right? No problem. And they are all very desperate of cutting costs at the moment. So we're seeing them all, like the Germans are firing people, closing plants and so on, and they are all talking about cost savings in the billions and billions of dollars over the next few years. So Tesla has just showed that they can just save millions <laughs> just by doing these small things and saving a minute of every car they produce. The other OEMs is going to want to be able to do this. But let's see how long it takes before they can actually copy this feat from Tesla. But I just can't wait when the car drives from the assembly line to the customers, not to the parking lot, but to the parking lot of the customers. This is going to be even more cost savings for someone like Tesla. They're going to save a lot of money there when they have no human involved whatsoever and just drive off the assembly line and drive to the customers. No trucker is needed, no truck is needed to drive hundreds or thousands of miles to get to their Tesla service centers and there are no humans there to take delivery of the cars and then they have to hand it over to a customers. It just drives straight to your driveway. That is going to be huge and such a huge cost saving for Tesla. I don't know how many truck Tesla uses worldwide, but they deliver 1.8 million vehicles every year. And if there can be like six cars on a truck, that is 300,000 trips that is needed on a truck to deliver these cars. And of course, 300,000 trips back to the factories. So a lot of trips that will be saved in the future. Not, not in the so distant future, actually closer than we probably think. So it's not just about robo taxis and earning money as a taxi with no driver. It is also about all the cost saving Tesla would do at their factories, at the production line and that deliveries. This is going to be huge. But this was the first step toward that amazing future. It is no longer just a pipe dream that us Tesla fanboys are believing in. This is happening and the first step we have just seen. So we will see how many haters are left screaming that Tesla full self-driving sucks and they are years behind everybody else and they will never solve it. Probably a few, but at least we are one step closer to that unsupervised full self-driving hitting the public roads. So I think Tesla is still on track to get it to the roads in the first half of 2025. I think we have such an amazing year to look forward to here in 2025. And I'm right here ready to report to you about it all. But this was all for this little video about break news. So um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. It will spread it to more people. And if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. I know many people of you that are watching are not subscribed to the channel, but it does help the channel out a lot so we can grow this channel together and I can make you better and better content. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care out there and be nice.